life is just giving you lemons and you're finding it really really hard to make a lemonade out of it to this podcast i listen to that podcast you have to have a problem like a boy problem or life is life in or be da, da 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 when in actual sense we have a problem stop to act of feeling better <laughs> hi girl welcome to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing my nighttime skincare routine as i'm currently getting ready to go to bed and while we're at this i'm going to be talking about the subtle act of feeling better <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but when you watch through the video you're definitely going to understand everything that i'm trying to say so lately i've honestly been feeling very very down and i know that i'm not the only person that feels this way you know when you just feel like relatively not yourself like you don't feel good not like you're sad you're not sad and you're not happy it's sort of like you're in the middle of things and sometimes there's no like just cause as to why you feel like this basically i'm going to be talking about things that help me to feel better in this video and i know that these things are things you could try out things that could help you feel better and all of that good stuff so first things first if you feel bad or if you just feel low or low energy and all of that the first thing for you to do is actually recognize what the problem is this is something that we don't usually do but for me i experience situations where i don't actually like have an issue i just feel sad like i just don't feel like my normal self i don't know sometimes it's like the energy or anything but i sure don't just like feel good about myself or anything i'm not going to be looking at you i'm going to be looking here because i need to you know so yeah as i was saying times when i just i just feel very very down i don't feel like myself or anything like a boy problem or life is life in or basically like you just have a situation going on with yourself i just feel like one of the best ways to try to get over it is to understand what the situation is what exactly is the problem do you get understanding the problem makes you have the ability to solve a problem so if you're having a situation with somebody another thing to consider is that you should ensure that you're not the problem you know sometimes we are out there calling people um narcissists what's that word i don't know manipulators gaslighters this that da 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 when in actual sense we have the problem like when you look at it are you is that person actually the bad person or are you the bad person and you're getting exactly what you deserve i don't know i don't know how you want to take it but i feel like if you're handling a situation with somebody or if the reason why you're sad or about anything is about a person i feel like you need to understand who the problem is it might actually just be you after you properly check it out nobody would intentionally blame themselves come on now it's yourself i don't feel like anybody would be like oh my god it's my fault and stuff like that and not find a way to make the other person look wrong if you're trying to like feel better about yourself and you realize that okay it's the other party that is the um bad vibe the bad person and all of that it's always advisable to cut off the negativity if you're in one of those situations where life is just giving you lemons and you're finding it really really hard to make a lemonade out of it one of the things i'm just one of those advocates of cry like actually cry i feel like i'm such a cry baby at every inconvenience i would cry and honestly it makes you feel better when you think about it properly it's like pouring out all of your negativity so if life is just like you know going bizarre and just treating you like you don't matter treating you like you're one of the strongest soldiers <laughs> honestly just cry it out i don't know how to put it but just cry it out cry you feel better about it you would see the disadvantages of what you did to yourself and you know what to do it again so when i cry my eyes are like very very swollen my face looks different i look chinese when i cry so when i look at myself in the mirror i'm like oh my god look at what i did and then i don't want to do it again i don't know that is a good theory or something that is i'm supposed to advise another person to do but it just helps me feel better i don't know but hopefully one or two of you can relate to what i'm saying but yeah if you've not tried to pray about something it's not a problem that you want to be solved whatever it is be it a person a situation whatever it is academic finances anything pray about it god answers any and everything he's never tired of listening to our prayers anything that we have to say he can talk as long as you want pray as long as you want 
pray about it leave it at his altar and there will be answers whatever you say god has a way of answering all of our prayers one of the ways that we communicate these days a lot is on social media so if it's a person that is hurting you one thing that i would honestly suggest for you is to log off your social media sometimes you're very stuck in like i don't know what to call it the matrix you're just stuck scrolling tiktok there's the other one and you're just there that you forget like how to care about yourself and all of that take a break even if it's a few hours break just take some time out of social media to actually be a real person this is something that me myself i find it very difficult to do i find it hard to do but whenever i do it i just find that it helps so when i when when i can do this to myself is when my data expires i decide okay i'm not going to subscribe now because as long as i have that time my phone i am going to go to it me i'll tell you the truth even if i say okay i'm taking a social media break for one hour if i have data on that phone i will go back so if i think about the process of like buying data for my mobile app this that da, 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 i would like halt and be like okay let me do other things distract myself take my bath do this do that you know stuff like that but just make sure that you distract yourself from social media that way you can begin to feel better that tip that helps me feel better about myself is to put myself first i'm still learning i've not been able to like fully understand how to put myself first sometimes i just find myself slacking but then learn to put yourself first is one of the best ways to help you feel better or get out of a situation boy issue life life in whatever it is just put yourself first it'll help you make decisions faster so if you're not one of those people that when you're feeling sad you would move to sad songs and then you just make yourself more sad i suggest you go for podcasts podcasts are something it's just something that i started listening to recently i've seen people talk about it oh they're listening to this podcast they're listening to other podcast i mean i'm always like hmm, what's the big idea what i would do inside there i didn't really care about it until i started listening to how far by mr easy and tenio Tedola, and it really just made me happy they are my friends in my head i don't care what anybody has to say and if i feel a certain kind of way and then i just put on those podcasts it makes me feel like i'm in an actual conversation with people and i'm just like talking people that are not trying to pity me they're basically just having a conversation do you get so if you listen to sad music when you're sad i suggest you go for like podcasts to make yourself feel happier but then if you're not just among those people that your your mood influences your choice of music then i suggest that you just listen to like beats like really really hard beats that would just excite you but then another thing that helps me to feel good about myself is when i smell good you can't be smelling bad and not expect to have a problem if you smell bad and not so good you deserve to have a problem i don't mean, that makes any sense but smelling good is just one of those ways for me that i could just help myself feel better have a long bath come out apply my body mist roll on perfume like just feel good apply um nice things on my skin that make my skin smell really nice that way i'm just like distracted from my problems i don't know but this is just something that helps me everybody has their own coping mechanisms and for me this is just one of them so smell good today last thing that i would recommend if you're trying to feel better is make the conscious decision to be happy i can advise you i can say okay do this it will help you feel better do that it will help you feel better but you can only take a horse to the river you can't tell a horse to drink water it's only when you decide that okay you want to be happy that you can truly be happy so just decide on your own in your spirit in your heart of hearts just tell yourself you know what i am going to be happy precious i'm going to be happy you are going to be happy whatever your name is say it and be like oh i'm going to be happy I choose to be happy i choose happiness happiness comes to me easily happiness comes to me fast when happiness comes happiness stays when happiness comes happiness stays yeah <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave your comments in the comment section, of course, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching again. Bye-bye.